So I am long overdue to be out here in the garden. Um, things have been so busy. I'm just now getting over being sick. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you my uh, what we've been growing over the winter and everything that we've been producing over the winter and how that's doing. And then also, I was tagged by Natalie with Hey It's a Good Life to talk about if I could snap my fingers and make anything happen, what would it be? So be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, like this video, and leave a comment below. Among the things that we've been growing that we harvested today, one of the t varieties of tomato that we grew, I love heirloom tomatoes. And this is, I'm not sure if this is a brandy wine or if it is a Cherokee purple, but it is, it is just so pretty. I just love the coloring. And then we had a rainbow mix of cherry tomatoes that we've got some of these tiny red tomatoes. And I believe these are sun golden tomatoes and if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen these in a few of my pictures these really pretty tomatoes they are so gorgeous and then of course as I was talking at the beginning of the video we grew some cabbage this is only two heads that are ready to go they're a little small and that's because where this garden is placed it's in partial shade um, and cabbages really need kind of full Sun to my knowledge so I'm really quite thrilled with them for growing in partial shade. And then of course, um, I grow a variety of Swiss chard called Pink Flamingo, and it's really, really pretty. I love this, let me see. I love this variety of Swiss chard. It's so colorful. The stalks are a very bright pink, and then the leaves are very rich. And it's very good in a salad. And then, of course, I grow some mini bell peppers in the garden that I wanted to go ahead and harvest as well that I'll probably use in dinner tonight. Something else that I am really, really excited to announce is that we have pineapples growing. I've had these pineapple plants for so long, it seems. Granted, they were like really horribly neglected, but they are finally starting to make pineapples. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty too. And then something else that is growing in our garden is our blueberries. They're starting to come in. We've had blueberry blossoms popping up on them. I literally had no clue that the pineapples or the blueberries are producing. I'd been come, passing by them all so, for so long and then I just suddenly looked over and there was fruit on them and this one is even starting to bring one in see a little tiny pineapple budding in it's kind of sticking its oh i'm so excited so i was tagged really by need a blanket. oh you really need a blanket yeah the temperatures are dropping right now it's actually Hi, supposed morgan. to be pretty chilly tonight here, oh do we need morgan up here come here morgan 
man, my lap is full. My cup runneth over. <laughs> so, this is more again. This is one of our uh, garden cats. <laughs> there's <have> Luna over there. <laughs> yep, there's Luna over there. But this is one of our two garden cats. Me. We don't really have a barn yet, so they keep the mice out of the chicken coop and the garden, and they do an excellent job at it. They're just such a good girl. Great. We were tagged by N Natalie from Hey, It's a Good Life to talk about if we could snap our fingers, what would we want to make happen? And jokes aside, I'm not gonna say I wish I had a million dollars, but in reality, if I could snap my fingers, I think I would have to say that I would want if I, could, if I could snap my fingers and make anything happen, we would be out on our farm with the house built and things in place, and we would have our systems in order that we would be making money off of the land, and I could bring Davis home. That's what I was going to say. Is that what you were going to say? You, yes. if you could make If you could snap your fingers, it would be to bring Daddy home? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well I think we both have uh, similar dreams then, don't we? We both have our same dreams. We both have our same dreams. I want me to move out to the pasture and all of those things you said and bring daddy home so we can play Kingdom Hearts after we farm. <laughs> okay. We can priorities, video games and farming. <laughs> so but I have to say that is what if I could snap my fingers and make anything happen, it would be that we would be out on the farm and Davis would we would be sustaining ourselves in a way that Davis could come home from work. If there's something that you're wanting or needing, leave a comment below. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, comment what you could would do if you could snap your fingers and make anything happen. Because I'd love to hear what it is that you could do. What it is that you would like to do, I guess I should say. So, but be sure to give a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't. And next to it, hit that bell so that you can get notifications whenever we post new videos. So, in the meantime, happy homesteading. <laughs> really, more again?